A number of sea urchins cover themselves with marine debris in order to protect themselves from UV radiation and to camouflage their bodies. Interestingly, different species of sea urchins use different types of debris for these purposes. Likely, this behavior evolved several times and is thus an example of convergent evolution. We at People and the Sea research this interesting behavior by collecting the debris of the urchins and by recording the behavior on video. This type of research is a dangerous endeavor. Instantly I felt a severe pain resembling that caused by the knidoblast of Silenterata and I felt as if the toxin were beginning to move rapidly to the blood vessel from the stung area towards my heart. After a while, I experienced a faint giddiness, difficulty of respiration, paralysis of the lips, tongue and eyelids, relaxation of muscles in the limbs, was hardly able to speak or control my facial expression, and felt almost as if I were going to die. About 15 minutes afterwards, I felt that pains gradually diminish and after about an hour, they disappeared completely. But the facial paralysis, like that caused by cocainization, continued for about six hours. In order to work with such dangerous animals, the researcher has to be the urchin. Here, one of our field biologists covers himself in marine debris, just like the urchins do. Here, two sea urchins communicate by establishing contact and then moving away from each other. Sea urchins are sophisticated animals which just operate at a slower time scale than we do. Because of this difference in time scale, a lot of the videos here are shown in time lapse. I hope the next time you dive, you will have a little bit more appreciation for sea urchins. <laughs>